As discussed, even just within the last example, which was relatively simple, more than one dimension was important. Most design situations are not only restrictive in one dimension. For example, in an aircraft cockpit, the pilot must be able to position the seat such that he can reach the controls with his feet and hands, see over the front of the aircraft, and in an ejection equipped aircraft, his head must not be above the canopy breakers and his knees must clear the dash when he ejects. When considering a multi-dimensional problem like this, do you think that by accommodating the third to the 95th, 97th percentile, you're accommodating 94% of the people? Unfortunately, this is not the case. Accommodating 94% of people for each measurement or requirement will not accommodate 94% of people in a multivariate problem. This is because some people that are excluded in one measurement or requirement are included in another. So of the 94% of people you include in one requirement, some of these may be excluded in another requirement. You can see this clearly in the cockpit accommodation assessment of the Hawk. You can see with this chart, three critical exclusion factors are examined. Mirror clearance, which basically is if the person will hit the mirrors during an injection. The shin clearance, which is if the person is able to place their feet on the rudder pedals without interference of their shins with the main instrument panel. And vision over the nose, which equates to 14.8 uh, degrees from horizontal with the aircraft on the ground. As you can see, the mirror clearance accounts for rejection of approximately 20% of the aircrew males and 5% of females. The results are similar for the Canadian Forces male population at large, so the males are measured in the uh, 1997 survey. Shin clearance with the main instrument panel affects 6 to 8% of males and vision over the nose is the number one cause of rejection for females. The exclusion rate is about 12% for females within the aircrew selection limits and about 60% for the Canadian Armed Forces females in general. The overall aircrew male and female exclusion rates are around 20% with the mirrors and about 10% with the mirrors removed. Basically, the people excluded by vision over the nose are not necessarily the same people excluded by shin clearance. This means that accommodating the 3rd to 97th percentile does not mean you're only excluding 6% of the population. The field of anthropometrics has evolved such that multivariate analysis can be used to describe boundary cases, which, if accommodated, will ensure accommodation for the population within the boundary. The boundary cases shown on this slide were used for the bid evaluation process of the fixed wing search and rescue aircraft. As these boundary cases must be used in a multivariate capacity, use of them is likely beyond the context of this course. However, in the case of commercial aircraft design, multivariate analysis and use of these test people would help you ensure accommodation of your target population.